12 News is getting you back to school, back to routine. The pandemic certainly showed us how virtual learning is possible. Certainly not preferred, though, by educators, parents, and students. There's something about that in-person classroom learning that just can't be beat. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh toured the uh, two new high schools in the South Coast, Massachusetts region to see why taxpayers are hopeful they'll bring renewed enthusiasm to their communities. When high schools are built, they're meant to last for decades, and that's certainly been the case in Fall River and here in Westport. This community was in dire need of a new facility, and that's this one, the new middle and high school on Old Colony Road. And in just a few days time, students and teachers will be entering it. The old school was it was really tight. It wasn't a great learning environment. John Bernier and his son will both be starting the school year in a brand new eighth grade classroom. John teaches eighth grade English. The new school's design features offices between the classrooms. John will be sharing it with another English teacher, Bill Bernier. We shared a bedroom for 14 years as kids. So. Yes, they're twins. They both taught at and attended school in the old Westport High School building. The main building was 1954, I think. So you've been really working old. out of the 1954 building? Yeah. John was on the school building committee. He said they hope the new gym and theater inspire students to join and create new extracurricular activities. Superintendent Thomas Aubin said the goal of the $97 million building is to keep kids in the public schools in Westport, in which the taxpayers invest. We had about 450 students leave. Uh, the district over the past 10 years, so the cost is over a million dollars. Cross into neighboring Fall River, and the goal is the same with this massive new Durfee High School. I think our numbers are already up this year. Fall River residents voted to increase their taxes even to pay for this estimated $263 million facility. It's expected that about 60% of it is funded by Massachusetts School Building Authority grant money. So as someone who started as a teacher, right, at the old, old Durfee, um, <laughs> Mayor Paul Coogan gave us a personal tour. His push for the school far predates his time as mayor. You need technology, you need space, you need the right kind of ventilation. Past this impressive atrium is a lecture hall, a prime example of new age technology. But there's also a nod to the past with beams and this wood at the circulation desk in the media center from the old King Philip Mill. So the granite that you see around uh, was original Fall River granite. Principal Matt Damaris and I talked on an outdoor poetry stage in one of two courtyards. What else have we seen in this school that you didn't have in the old one? Straight hallways that we can monitor. I was a student in the old building and an employee and, and especially on a gray day it never gave you a sense of enthusiasm. It's this renewed sense of enthusiasm that the city hopes attracts and retains students and teachers for decades to come. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.